Hello everyone, welcome back to study fit for IGCSE Biology. Today's topic is related to the chemicals of life. Without further delay, let's begin with chapter 4 outline. You will find out about why water is so important to living organism, why carbohydrate, fats, lipid, and protein are made of and their properties. The role of carbohydrate, fats, and protein in living organism. How to test for the presence of carbohydrate, lipid, and protein. And finally, the structure of DNA. Why water is so important to living organism? 80% of our body is made up of water. Water is an important solvent. Metabolic reaction can only take place if the chemicals which are reacting are dissolved in water. If the cell dry out, the reaction stops and organism dies. Other than that, why water is important? Because plasma, the liquid part of the body, of the blood, contain a lot of water. So the substances like glucose can dissolve in it. So the dissolved substances are transported around the body. On top of that, water is also needed to dissolve enzymes and nutrients in the elementary kernel so that the, dig the digestions can take place. We also need water to help us to get rid of waste products. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate includes starch and sugar. Carbohydrate contains three elements such as carbon with the symbol of capital C, hydrogen with the symbol of capital H, and hydrogen with the symbol of capital O. The simplest kind of carbohydrate are simple sugar or monosaccharide. Example glucose, where you can find it, C6, H12O6, or fructose. Glucose molecule contain a lot of energy, which can be released in respiration by breaking the bonds between the carbon atoms. A disaccharide is made when two monosaccharide join together. Example maltose. Maltose glucose. Maltose is formed from two glucose molecules. Sucrose is formed from one glucose and one fructose molecule. And finally, a polysaccharide is formed when many of monosaccharide join together. Starch, glycogen, or cellulose are all formed when many of glucose molecules join together. Polysaccharides are insoluble and useful as storage molecule. Fats. Most fat lipids in the body are made of triglyceride. The basic unit is one glycerol molecule chemical bonded to three fat acid chains. The fatty acids vary in size and structure. Lipids are divided into fats solid at room temperature, and oil liquid at room temperature. Proteins, long chain of amino acids. There are about 20 different amino acids. They are all contain the same basic structure, but the capital R group is different from each one. When amino acids are joined together, a protein is formed. The amino acids can be arranged in any order, resulting in hundreds of thousands of different proteins. Even a small difference in the order of amino acid resulted in a different protein being formed. Some proteins are soluble in water, like hemoglobin, the red pigment in blood. Others are insoluble in water, like keratin, hair, fingernail. Many of the proteins in the food you eat are used for making new cells. 
New cells are needed for brewing and repairing damaged part of the body. Cell membrane and cytoplasm contain a lot of protein. Proteins are needed to make antibodies which help to keep bacteria and viruses inside the body. DNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is the chemical that made up our genes and chromosomes. It is the material that we inherit from our parents, which gives us many of our characteristics. Diagram below shows the structure of a very small part of a DNA molecule. If you can see, it is made of two long stands, each with a series of bases arranged along it. The bases of the two strands are held together by bond, forming cross link. So the two stands then twist together into a kind of spiral called a helix. And the sequence of the bases in the DNA provides a code that is used to determine the kind of protein in our cell. As such, it determines how our cell, tissue, and organ develop. So the sequence determines you are human, not a tree, not others. And it also determines your personal characteristic, hair color, and the blood group. With that, I would like to end my presentation. Thank you very much. As I always reminded that biology is not that kind of other subject. You have to understand and you have to memorize all the scientific terms. That's all about biology. Thank you very much.